biggest single thing, and I've been doing this for an awful long time. I'm a sur- I'm a surgeon, but I'm, I'm working in a national in the, in the national high volume center in in in, in Dublin. Probably the, the biggest thing that's uh, a real issue is the value of giving chemotherapy after surgery because the patients go through an awful lot. If they have, if we're talking about the same context as the new ages trial, patients will have had chemotherapy and radiation therapy, like the cross regimen, or they'll have had three or three or four cycles of chemotherapy as in the magic or flood regimen. They're tough enough. Then the surgery is so tough, whether it's done by open surgery or minimally invasive or robotic assist it is tough surgery. And it does take patients sometimes months to get over that. So factoring in and giving chemotherapy after all of that is, is difficult. And only about half the patients or less than half the patients can really get it. And what its value is, we don't really fully know. Uh, and the, advent of immunotherapy and a recent the recent uh, data from the what's called the checkmate 577 trial that showed adjuvant immune therapy after heavy duty surgery for esophageal cancer was well tolerated is exciting because that's a, that's a, an unmet need uh, the, the role uh, and uh, probably that's probably that's one of the the biggest areas so much else, so much, there's been so many pr- much progress in the last 20 years in esophageal cancer through good randomized clinical, clinical trials like the, the MAGIC and, and uh, CROSS and, and uh, you know, ACCORD and OEO2 and OEO5. And there's, there's, there's a, a, lot of, a lot of data and there's huge progress all the time in terms of how surgery is delivered and how safely it's done, how radiation therapy is rel- delivered and quality assurance so all the time, those things are, are moving. But probably the single biggest difficulty for the patient is that issue of whether they should have chemotherapy after surgery. And if so, should it be the same chemotherapy that they had before surgery if that chemotherapy hasn't been shown to have a great impact. So if we really could nail that sort of piece with, re, re, with kind of research, uh, both translational, scientific, and, and clinical research over the next few years, that would be a big, uh, that could be a big advance because the upfront stuff and the surgery, we've so, so much progress has been made, I think, in that, uh, in that space.